Hi everyone and welcome back to uh, my channel, Coco's Hair Solutions. My name is Sandy and today what we're going to talk about is a comparison of two different wigs. I'm, uh, I've always been fascinated by the fact that there are so many wigs out there and some of them look very much the same, but they're not really the same. And so looking at them um, in the descriptors and the, you know, the dimensions of, of the lengths of the certain parts of the wigs, uh, really helpful uh, to come to understand as far as what the differences may be between wigs as well as how well will they look on you how good will they fit you where will those nice little razor cut edges you know land are they going to land up here on your cheek or down by your jawline um, there's just a lot of things that you can learn from that so today what we're going to do is we're going to compare two wigs by Jacqueline Smith and those wigs are number one we're going to compare sunset with the long leading lady this lady right here now obviously long leading lady does not have a bang but we're looking at the length of the curls this also has a, um, a obvious lace front which makes it um, different in that respect but I thought I would make a good comparison to, to use so we're going to look at both of these shoulder length wavy um, wigs and I happened to purchase them both from Polly Young and they're both in the my favorite color which I have on is Silver Starlet and this particular wig is Meg from Polly Young and it's uh, this one's in oh not Silver Starlet this one is um, Silvery Moon but the Silver Starlet always comes with dark rooting this just looks like it's got dark rooting and that's from the camera but anyway, let's take a look at these two wigs. Um, when out of the box, they look pretty close to the same. They've got wavy, wavy long lengths. But let's take a look at the cap construction in comparison. All right, so this is the long leading lady. She has temple to temple lace front, and they've done a really nice job of blending that. They've even made the, the um, very edge of the lace and the hairs coming out of that a very light now I'm going to go ahead and pull this up close so you can see that so that make, gives it a real realistic look okay it has soft velvet ear tabs it has an extended nape that's velvet and then it has velcro tighteners the fasteners on the side of course it has the fully wefted sides and back but what I noticed here is it doesn't have a basic cap construction, but a hybrid of a basic cap construction. You can see where part of it you can see through. So that makes this cap a little bit easier to wear in warmer weather. It gives more breathability. Um, it is, um, uh, it's got a kind of a standard cap that allows it to have some um, permatease on the top, but it, it's more breathable. Now the other, the sunset um, cap is very similar in that it has some open wefting along with having that solid lace top, which allows it to have that permatease. Um, it has a basic front, so it's closer to a basic cap construction. It has the open wefting on the sides and the back. It has open ear tabs and an ex open extended nape with the Velcro closures. So this one is closer to the standard cap construction and doesn't have the, the lace front or the velvet ear tabs. But we're gonna look at the style as well. But before I put them on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the dimensions, okay? So what we've got is the sunset is the more basic cap kind of construction but it has um, it's a little bit shorter it's got some tapering around the face so that when you bend over it does not fall in your face um, the uh, long leading lady has a lace front and then a long front bang which you could sweep and have it come down to your neck but let's look at the dimensions themselves so sunset 
weighs four ounces and the long leading lady weighs 4.5 ounces. They're both made of the Kanekalong, Kanekalon fiber, which is um, the standard fiber that Helen or that Polly Young uses all the time. Now the front, the front is six inches on the the sunset, but it's nine and a half inches on the long leading lady. So you have a very long front sweeping bang. It does not have a bang cut into it. Doesn't mean you can't cut one in there, but it just doesn't have one. The top on the sunset is four to nine inches. So you're gonna get some variability, four inches towards the front, and then it goes down to nine inches in the back. Um, it's 13 and a half for the long leading lady. So we've got quite a bit more length there on the long leading lady. The crown on sunset is gonna be nine inches and on long leading lady, it's gonna be 13 and a half inches. So here again, you're getting much more um, even length going around the long leading lady um, that makes it more very, uh, maybe a short area where there might be layering um, whereas with the sunset, you're going to have layering um, quite a bit more. The sides on the sunset are eight inches and they are 10 inches on the long leading lady. Um, the upper back is nine on the sunset, but it's 12 on the, uh, the long leading lady. The nape on sunset, that would be this portion, is seven and a half inches on sunset but it's eight inches on the long leading lady. So you can see there from the nape area, they're almost, almost, they're within a half inch of each other. So they're really close to the length in the back. But as we have seen with the sunset, there's more layering around the face than there is with the long leading lady. And then finally, um, they come in 18 colors. Both wigs come in 18 colors. Uh, and they're in the same 18 colors, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. I think what I'll do is I will put on sunset first and we'll take a look at it and how all of those dimensions translate into what it looks like, all right? I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. Gonna get my tabs equal on both sides, get my hairline adjusted. And already you can see the layering, the layering that's on this sunset. Now we can part our hair wherever we want because it's all um, part of, uh, you know, it's all got permatease up there. So you can actually move it from one side to the other. Now it looks like this from the, from the factory, it looks like it's meant to have this long sweeping off to the, my right from the left. So I'm gonna probably just leave it like that. So kind of straight out of the box. All right, so we can see how it is tapered away from the face. Here, this would be another wig that would be great for work or any kind of uh, day or time or occurrence when, when you're gonna be bending your head over and looking at things or maybe writing. That way you don't have hair falling in your face all the time. It's very comfortable, the, the cap. And of course, I have always found Jacqueline Smith's caps as well as Paula Young's caps to be so comfortable that um, they're just wonderful um, for me. They, they fit very, very well. Um, the extended nape and the open tabs, great for my glasses and accommodates my hearing aids as well. So, but I could just leave this. Now, I know that sometimes the, all of that permatease on the top can give us a lot of volume that maybe um, on occasion we don't really want to have. So what you can do is use the heat of your hands and kind of crush it down. What you can also do is take your comb and loosen up or, or comb through some of that per, uh, fiber um, permatease and get it to lay down a little bit more. 
I know that um, Beth Green Bissell Bissell, she uh, gets in there and really activates her her um, her um, parmentis because it makes it nice and full. I like to get it to lay down a little bit more. Um, I'm not used to so much fullness, and so that's how I deal with that. But it allows me, you know, this hairstyle. I could put clips in it if I want. I could just leave it just the way it is. And it's super, super comfortable. So let's do a spin with this, okay? I'll get a little closer so you can see. So it has wonderful movement. Jacqueline Smith has a, does a great job with her wigs. I just love her wigs. They're amongst my favorites, absolutely. And I wear them almost daily, almost daily. So you can see how it's got all the curl and that curl will not go away. It will stay there even after washing. Okay, so this is what, and of course it falls away from your face so you can even see some pretty earrings. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, okay, now I'm gonna put on the Long Leading Lady in the same color, Silver Starlet. And it's just another um, wig by Jacqueline Smith. So here I go. Okay, this is Long Leading Lady. I'm adjusting my headband or my hairline to come in where I think it looks and fits most comfortably. So what I'm gonna do is get that situated first and then I'm gonna kind of press the, the lace down into my forehead a little bit so that it anchors it. And we'll see, am I even on both sides? I've got a little bit of a, an adjustment there. Alrighty, so here we have the lace front coming off of uh, the long hair, long bangs coming off to the side. And of course, if the wind should blow or I want to pull it back with a with a, um, a bread or a clip, I can do that. But here you can see the difference. See how it's all one length up here. Now I'm guessing that we have a little bit more length in the back, just maybe half inch to an inch. And I've got finger curls I can use. I could use my wide tooth comb. Um, this obviously is going to fall in my face if I have to bend over. So I would probably save this for an evening out or you know, going somewhere um, where I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time looking or reading anything or writing anything. So let me do a spin around for this one, okay? Okay, so the side. It's got lots of good movement too, like all of her wigs do. They're just so comfortable. And again, the wig, what a uh, cap is very very comfortable very comfortable i love it but this is a really fun style too you can um, keep those little beachy waves in there i know that they take some maintenance um, but you know i think what we can do is just you know comb it through and then maybe even spray it and separate it just with your fingers being really wide and then just letting it dry that way. You get a lot more of those really pretty individual beachy waves that um, separate and look really cool and modern. So, very comfortable. I really enjoy both of these wigs for different reasons. But this is another Silver Starlet. So let's have you take a look at that hairline. And I'm hoping that you can see that very well. I might be tempted to just kind of maybe tweeze a little bit of the hairs out of there so on the side so it looks more like my widow's peak and maybe you know give me a little bit more of a curvature instead of straight across but on the other hand I don't know if I want to go that far <laughs> anyway 
some things are better left alone, right? <laughs> so I don't know. But this, oh, this feels so pretty. This feels so pretty to me. And to have it in that silver gray color, I just love it. I just love that silver starlet. So anyway, so if you can see the differences between these two wigs and recognize um, how it's represented by reading the dimensions, that is a real lifesaver in a lot of respects. It helps you um, be able to make better purchases, purchases that you never have to return. How much of a hassle is that, right? Sometimes, as easy as uh, Paula Young makes it, or even a lot of other companies, they make it very easy to return. It's still a disappointment, isn't it? So anyway, if we can avoid that, that's a really good thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's really fun to do comparisons and I'm looking forward to continuing this series of comparison. Com <laughs> comparison, no, comparing. <laughs> anyway, give me a thumbs up for if you like my video and um, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye-bye from Coco's Hair Solutions. <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye.